Well, here we go again. Uh, this time it's about vacuum chucks. Uh, so many times people have said, hey, why don't you get yourself in your videos? <laughs> it's a tiny, tiny shop. And it's really hard to set up a camera uh, to get me in there too. But here I am. And uh, on my woodworking friends uh, site, we got uh, uh, some topics going on about vacuum chucks. And I put quite a long uh, thread in there myself uh, about the ones that I've been making. I gleaned uh, ideas from the internet, uh, uh, watching videos, and kind of put uh, ideas of different ones together to make my own version. Uh, so, uh, like I said, it's really hard for me to get everything into perspective at this tiny shop. So I think I've got my my vacuum pump in view here. I think I've got my lathe in view over here. I hope so. Anyways, we'll carry on and see what happens. Uh, I'll get off my little stool here. And, uh, well, over here, maybe if you can see this. I, I made four of them. <laughs> I call them uh, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Two Little Bears. <laughs> Anyways, what they are, they're vacuum chucks. And uh, if I get up closer here, you can, it might show in the video that I've, I've threaded, threaded inside there uh, on each one. This little spacer on the back is simply because on the lathe, there's, uh, there's a gap at the end where there's no threads. So that takes care of that. So it fits up flash, uh, flush against the flange. Going there, uh, uh, the middle part of them is just, uh, I think it's, uh, I'm not sure what they're called, uh, PVC I think, PVC couplers, you get them on uh, uh, any hardware store. Uh, the bottoms I made out of cherry, uh, solid cherry wood. Uh, the top part I made out of MDF. And this is that what they call that fun foam from uh, Walmart. It's self-adhesive. And uh, I've made them in the way that it's, it's rounded. So uh, it when you're chucking up something, it'll grab from the inside as well as the outside. So let's spin this one on and we'll do a little test. Oh, I'll get these three out of the way. Quite a few years back, I had a, a little uh, vacuum system. It was called Hold Fast. It was uh, just about useless after half a dozen uses. It, 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 I was lucky to get 7 to 10 uh, HG on, on, the, on the gauge with it. So uh, it wound up in the landfill site eventually. So uh, I've always wanted to get into a, a better vacuum system. So what I did, I brought a couple of pieces from my from in the house. This is a bowl I made, oh, probably eight, ten years ago. It's been on my coffee table since then. It's a fruit bowl. It's ten inch diameter. And we'll use that for the first demo here. Turn the vacuum pump on. Oh, by the way, I got a pair of pliers here somewhere. That valve is so doggone tight that it has been since I bought it that I can't turn it with my fingers. I gotta use pliers, so that works. So first we'll start with hardly any vacuum at all. Turn the pump on and it's, it's running about ten. That was about the maximum I could get with my whole pass. Uh, what's this? Turn it up. You can see that. It's right up to, it's still climbing. To the 25. That's, that's a pretty awesome vacuum. Now, there's no way I can pull that off. That's, that's there. It's there. If, uh, if I were turning a bowl and there was a tenon that I wanted to turn off of here, it, it'd be no problem. You know, it, it could be done easily. Now, so, uh, let the vacuum off. It'll come down, there, it pulls off, I'll turn it around, turn it on like that, go 
boom, right up, right, right up to 25 again. So that's a good little pump. I got that on uh, Walt, uh, on Amazon. A uh, fairly reasonable pump. Uh, so let's get back along with that one. There. Now, if I put my finger inside here where the vacuum comes in, that little pump. Oh, I'm gonna do this. That little pump goes right up to just about 30. And when I'm back and chucking up bowls, well, it's giving me 25, which is, which is excellent. Uh, here's another one I made a while back. It's uh, an 8 inch uh, walnut bowl. And we'll stick it on. Right up to 25. Well, I could uh, like spin that lay on, spin that. Out. Of course, this off balance. If if I was mounting it, I would be mounting it from my my tail stop uh, on the tenon, so that it, it would be perfectly balanced. Oh, that valve's working. Ah, that valve's working a little easier now. No time. It was new. I guess it, I got it wore in. Okay, we'll take that off. Just out of curiosity now, I've never tried this. This is the first time. This is one of the uh, segmented bowls that I made on my Ringmaster. And uh, apparently when you get up around 25 inches of vacuum, you, you can actually destroy a bowl uh, unless it's really well made. I don't know how well made this is. It's all segments. We can get up closer. Maybe the lighting. I don't know how the lighting is here. But it's, it's a segmented wall. Yeah, my lighting is bad in here. I got some fluorescent lights I'm going to be putting in here that will. I mean, some LED lights that will help a lot. Anyway, I want to see if I can destroy this. I made it out of a, a 25 cent piece of pine, so I don't care if it breaks. <laughs> this is going to be a, a first time experiment. I want to see if I can break it. So we're going to, and, and I also want to demonstrate how, how uh, that vacuum chuck should work on grabbing outside or inside because like I showed earlier, the, the way I put the foam around it. So let's get this one on. Uh, I'm going to stand aside just in case. And I'm going to gradually work it up. Up, up, up. <laughs> whoa, whoa, we're getting up there. Oh, we're up to 20, 25. It's, <laughs> it didn't break. There's no way I can pull it off, though. My golly, that is, I, I, I just can't. I can't pull it off. Okay, we'll release that in that direction. I'm going to have to come down. And then not right straight up. There we go. There. Okay, let's try it this way. I'm going to get away from there in case it breaks. <laughs> up to 25 on, on, on the inside. Maybe I haven't got to see it right. Let's try it again. Okay, I'm only getting 23 on the inside, but that's not too shabby. There's no way you're going to pull that off of there. It's, it's on there. It's strong. Okay, so here's our little vacuum chuck. 
I also found that it works out really good. I, I tried the, the, the three smaller ones. Uh, I'll turn this off. Uh, one thing I found uh, with my uh, when I had the, the little wool fast chuck, uh, it would get up to ten or fifteen on a on a big chuck. On the small chucks, it was totally useless. It just wouldn't hold nothing. This one holds. It, it'll still go up to twenty three. Uh, so uh, twenty three, twenty five. So that's pretty good. So uh, these these chucks they run very very true. The, the whole works of them. I was very careful making them. They they they, they work dead on true. So there's going to be no wobble or anything when turning the tenons off the bottom of wools. Anyways, that was that was fun. <laughs> I didn't break my ringmaster bowl, so I guess that means that my uh, uh, glue up job and everything was okay on that. So hey, all you guys, if uh, if you want to see some uh, discussions on uh, uh, these chucks I made, uh, there's some discussions on my Woodworking Friends site. It's uh, pretty painless to get in there if you're not already a member. Uh, there is a registration process, because, and it has to be approved because we like to keep it clean and friendly. And apart from that, hey, we love to have you all in there. So, come on, join the crowd, have fun with us. Uh, we're, we're just doing all kinds of woodworking stuff all the time. So, Until the next time, just keep having fun woodworking.